We've had so many businesses open. Here in St. Andrews, St. Andrews has been thriving. They, they literally, the, the, the tourism slumped. Everyone else suffered with. It, it, it didn't happen here. There's so many things that have opened, exciting things. St. Andrews Brewing Company, everyone loves. Have you been? Have you been St. Andrews Brewing Company? It's amazing. It's located where the post office you. used to be. Thank you. See? Not many. See, but some people think only it's fucking musicians that can do sing-alongs. <laughs> oh, no. We can do comedy karaoke any day of the week, can't we? Come on. We're zealous. You see. Beautiful. <laughs> Happy days. That's the amazing thing about the, uh, the St. Andrew's Brewing Company, where the post office used to be, is that uh, the mail is often still going there. <laughs> it's true, and like true New Brunswickers, you know what the brewing company are doing? They're happily handing out the fucking mail. <laughs> what an amazing thing! Like me, me saying to my wife, in London, if I said I was going to post a letter, that was a euphemism for I'm sneaking off to the pub. How amazing <laughs> that in St. Andrew's, you are literally going to get the mail and you can get shit-faced. <laughs> Living the dream. And just when you think things in St. Andrews couldn't be good enough, March 2020, St. Andrews got its very first swingers club. <laughs> yeah. Notice the tension. Notice the tension. See, some people are thinking, has he been on the website? Has he seen the pictures? Is he going to recognise me? <laughs> and yes, I do. <laughs> or at least parts of you. <laughs> this is true for those of you that don't know. This is a thing. St. John has might not have heard the news. It's all over. It, it, it spread all over St. Andrews, this news. Like a, well, like a STD, I suppose. <laughs> Everyone in St. Andrews knows about it, but the Johnners might not, so I'll inform them. Uh, a, a lovely couple, who, because we welcome everyone here, Jojo and David are their names. Or if you look on his website, he's nicknamed Dirty David. <laughs> and look at the website and see where his willy's been, and you'll see why he's called Dirty David. It's, I, I, I thought I would go on the site and print out some funny things to read. You can't. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, well, some would call it filth, some would call it just people having fun. But yes, so the Swingers Club has opened. It's true, it's been there two years, very successful, as those of you that are kind of avoiding my eye clearly know. <laughs> the address is on the website, the full address. Do you want to go? <laughs> I'm not going to read it out right now, but it's, uh, it's located right next to the Ross Mount Inn. <laughs> It is. Nothing to do with Chris and Griselda. They're not involved. I mean, they, they only go there at weekends, they assure me. How amazing to have the Ross Mountain next to what I probably believe is one of the, probably the most prominent sex clubs in all of the province. How amazing to be able to go and get like a world-class meal, one of the finest chefs in the world, and then pop next door for an orgy. Well, oh, I suppose right? you could do it the other way round. Go to the orgy and then go for a world-class meal to get the taste out of your mouth. I don't know. I don't know, Lucinda. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. 